It was a warm greeting from Mexican President Andres Obrador and his wife Beatriz to President Joe Biden and his wife Jill in the official kickoff of the North American Leaders Summit at the Mexican National Palace. But behind the pomp and circumstance, there was a testy exchange on Monday night. This is the moment for us to do away with this abandonment, this disdain for Latin America, beginning with you, Mr. President. Three, four decades. Biden responded by pointing out the high number of deaths in the U.S. from illegal drugs that flow from Mexico. But migration still tops the agenda, specifically the number of people crossing illegally into the U.S., a record number since President Biden took office. The migrants trying to enter the U.S. are now mostly people from Latin American nations, such as Cuba, Nicaragua, Haiti and Venezuela, far outnumbering Mexican migrants. And the U.S. has no formal diplomatic relations with those four other nations, so it's more difficult to send them back. The leaders' wives struck a compassionate tone in talking about how their husbands might address the problem. We believe that poverty is not destined by God, but a product of inequality. We know that the poor deserve to live better and are working with compassion every day to improve lives for everyone. Ahead of the summit, Biden announced a major migrant policy shift. The U.S. will send 30,000 border crossers each month from those four other nations back into Mexico with Mexico's blessing. Also on Monday, Obrador welcomed Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau to Mexico. All three leaders are also expected to address other issues, such as climate change, supply chain issues, and disputes over energy and trade. But even before the summit, there were some deep-seated tensions between Obrador and Biden. Obrador has made no secret of his admiration for President Biden's predecessor, Donald Trump, and Obrador skipped this summit in Los Angeles last year for the U.S.'s refusal to include other Latin American nations over their human rights records.